Welcome back, everybody, to another cryptocurrency news article. This one comes from Crypto Slate, and the Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index enters the greed zone after 10 months of it not being there. But yeah, the news comes as BTC remains stable at around 23,000 going into the weekend. Now, if, no, if you don't know what the fear and greed index is, it usually tells us when people are fearful, when they're greedy, or when they're neutral right now. As of right now, we are neutral. But yeah, the crypto market behavior is very emotional. People tend to get greedy when the market is rising, which results in FOMO. Also, people often sell their coins in irrational reactions of seeing run numbers. With our fear and greed index, we try to save you from your emotional, <laughs> emotional reactions. And there are two simple assumptions to do when looking at it. When we are in times of extreme fear, this can be a sign that investors are too worried. And that could be a great buying opportunity. So like the flip a route could be going on. But again, when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. So once we get that greed, it's like, uh-oh, where's the market going to go? Could go down when we are greedy. So that's when you should be a little coffish. Therefore, we, an we analyze the current sentiment of the Bitcoin market and crunch the numbers into a simple meter from 0 to 100. 0 means extreme fear, while 100 means extreme greed. See below for further. Like when we were in the 69, when we were at all-time highs, whew, that greed index was so high. We were reaching like 97, 98, so it was crazy. And then once we had that dip, we were all the way down in the low fear section. So again, great buying opportunities to stock up. But yes, let's go over this article a bit, hitting it for the first time in 10 months. <laughs> But the, for the first time since March 30th, 2022, the Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index is firmly in the greed zone. With Bitcoin up nearly 40% year-to-date, the index signals a bullish settlement as the original cryptocurrency makes significant strides after plummeting to below $16,000 and a two-year low in 2022. Now, what metrics make up the BTC slash Fear and Greed Index? Well, the Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index uses a combination of technical and fundamentals analysis measured the sentiment of the market, and the index uses a variety of data points. Like they measure the volatility, measures the volatility of the price of Bitcoin based on the daily standard divisions of returns. It also uh, studies the market monument slash trend, so it looks at the direction of the moving averages and the gap between them. Uh, three, it also measures trading volume, analyzing the trading volume of BTC, looking for changes in the buying and selling pressure. Social media sentiment analyzes the sentiment of the online community by looking at the number of positive and negative mentions of BTC in social media. There are surveys of investors and traders that gauge the sentiment towards Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market as a whole. And the index ranges from 0 to 100, with a higher score indicating a higher level of fear and lower score for indicating higher level of greed. It is published by Alternative Me, a website that tracks alternative investments, including Bitcoin. So yeah, this is where it was yesterday, or yeah, it was yesterday <laughs> at 55. Right now, we again are at the 52. But yeah, this was a more in-depth one. Like, how is it measuring this number? So there's a lot of factors that go into play for that. But yeah, so it's again checking volatility, market momentum, trading volume, social media sentiment, surveys, and then the index itself. So yeah, that's everything going into this. So again, we are in the greed zone or we're back to normal. But again, as always, just remember when we're in signs of extreme fear, that could be a great buying opportunity because people are fearful, they're selling out, you can get in a better price. But then again, when people are getting too greedy, it's like a, ooh, sure, do I want to keep these right now? Do I want to put them into maybe a stable coin, something else, and then reconvert back once it goes down? But it is a good, it is a good trend to follow to get an idea of where the markets can go. It's not guaranteed that the markets will follow in its direction, but it's a good summit to just pay attention to. But yeah, that was a great little article. Love seeing this and paying attention to this Fear and Greed Index. But if you guys like this too, hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.